Tempo Labs is probably one of the best web based AI code editor out there. And I believe the way Tempo Lab works, there's probably no other AI code editor out there in the market that works like Tempo Labs. Just have a look at this project that I created using Tempo Labs. So once you give it a prompt, it actually starts creating this product requirements document, which is called PRD. It will actually do a complete breakdown of your project. It will understand what exactly you are building. Based on these requirements that it has just created, it will actually create this user flow diagram for your project. This user flow diagram actually helps you to dive deep into your functionality of your project. It has all of the use cases and all of the scenarios already written here in your user flow diagram. Traditional what we do we create user flow diagrams based on our requirements we use something like microsoft visio and that actually takes so much time to create these kind of diagrams based on our requirements but this tool just does that for you once it creates this user flow diagram, then actually it creates the wireframe for your project. It designs all of the screens for your project and you can see this interface right here. It is very similar to Figma. So that means we can actually hover over to any of these UI elements and then we can actually customize any of these UI elements, any of these screens that it has just created. So right now we have this main screen and then it has all of these different sections on our main screen. So we can just like go to each of these sections. then we can just click on each of these sections and then we can simply just customize whatever we want to customize we can just like change padding of any of these sections we can just like change text on any of these sections and we can change the way we want and in here on your left side you can access all of these UI elements from here and we can just like simply click on that and cust start customizing whatever you want to do after it has finalized this wireframe diagram for you next then actually start actually generating this application and start building the code for you and in here you can see a very familiar vs code like uh, interface here so our project is set up here and then you can see all of these code files are here and then you can see like we can visually see our wireframe diagram here and then if you just want to like run this project right now you can simply just click on play here and then you can simply just run this project and this is like simply all of those elements that it actually created are here in your main project now if you change anything in your design in here it will be implemented in real time right inside your application and even you can invite someone else on your project to work together tempo lab also allows you to connect with superbase that means you can build back end of your project and you can actually develop full stack applications right inside tempo labs and also there is a figma integration as well so that means you can bring your figma design directly inside Tempo Labs. You know the most shocking part for me, this is absolutely free to use and in free plan, it gives you 10 million tokens. That's equal to the pro plan of Bolt.new. So on Bolt.new, we actually get 10 million tokens for $20 per month. But in here, it actually gives you 10 million tokens absolutely for free. There's a daily token limit of 500,000, but this is actually more than enough for you to like create anything. I just created this project and you can see I only consumed 1,000 tokens so far and I still have like 499,000 tokens to spend today. And also it gives you full access to GPT 4.0 and Clots 103.5, that too in absolutely free plan. I don't think you'll ever have to upgrade to this paid plan because free plan actually gives you enough freedom to like build anything that you want. Okay, so let's just create a new project and let me just show you this tool in action. So I'll just click on generate new application and after that simply just click on next and in here you can simply just like explain your idea so let's just build this idea which is pet photo contest voting system so let me just simply click on generate i'm not giving any more details to it and let's just let's just have a look so now it is what it is going it is actually creating this project on one hand and secondly in here it, it is actually creating this very detailed prd project requirement document you can see it is now generating this user flow and it has now created like all of these requirements for your project all of your features of your project in here and now it is creating design for your project and now you can see like it is creating this wireframe it is creating different design elements for your project and all of that it is doing i'm not even doing anything right now so it is just like creating all of that for us it has created that amazing user flow diagram and now it is creating this amazing design and also it is like setting up that code so let's just let it just like complete that and then we actually like try to play this in this wireframe section in this design section it is like still creating all of these different design elements for us so amazing so this this is a photo grid then it is i think creating a dashboard then it is creating maybe a search button there so like 
this is just like impressive seriously now it is just creating this section so now it has generated this design for us the good thing is i mean i can just customize this design i can just like change it the way actually i do it in figma so i can just like change anything in in this design i can change maybe like design of these so like these photos or any of these text anything i can just change that here and then it will actually update that inside code and in here then it will actually preview that updated version of our design so now we can see it has created all of the required files which were actually required to create this project so now we can simply just press on this play button and now it can just like run this project in front of us and it, it is just like right now there's a demo data with these demo pets in here so there were like 42 words i clicked on that it became 43 i can just like vote for this so this is like just a basic very simple we can say a pet voting system but now actually i can just like build a backend i can just simply just correct superbase to my project and then simply just i like can build a backend for that and to connect superbase make sure that you have a superbase account and just log into your superbase account and from here you can simply just connect your superbase with that to create a new project it will automatically create a new project for you simply just click on connect superbase and in here it will actually ask you to give authorization to tempo labs you can simply just like select any of these projects i'll just choose like one of my organization and then after that authorize tempo labs and then it will just like create a superbase project for you create database for you create complete backend for your project all of that it will do right here in real time just like that you can connect figma with that so it has actually a figma plugin you can simply just install that figma plugin in your design and then after that you can simply just like bring that design into your tempo labs project so if you're thinking that maybe it is too complex for me maybe like it has too many functionalities for me but this actually covers almost every aspect of software development i mean look at that i mean you can have your user flow diagram right in front of you and in here if you want to like change anything now you can actually visually see what exactly is going on in your project you have more control over your project your design is right in front of you you can visually change anything in your design in here and then it will actually update your code base based on what our changing you have made in your design and that's it i mean it actually it is actually way more advanced than than bold.new or lovable.dev honestly and i will prefer to use this tool temple apps instead of like using bold uh, like bold.new because i know bold.new is amazing i know it, it like it does amazing job but i believe that it gives me more i mean i feel like i have more control here in tempo labs i can change my requirements here i can just like then regenerate this user flow diagram based on my updated requirements it will then update my code base based on that it will update my design based on that and then simply just like to change any functionality i'll just like change my requirements here i regenerate my workflow i regenerate my design and then it will just like like just just everything is happening seamlessly that i won't have to like use any other tool or any other software to like to create a separate design to create a separate user flow diagram or to like understand my project better because if you are building something complex you do need this kind of like user flow diagram you you do need like erd diagrams and like the, a lot of other diagrams so if you have this tool so i i think it it can actually take care of almost all of the aspects of a complex software development i am really impressed by this ai code editor seriously and i have this video is not sponsored at all and because it is like absolutely free to use i recommend all of you to like try it at least like create something basic and then try to like like understand that user flow diagram then try to like change design that you created for your project and then like try to update your code base and maybe then download that source code open that maybe in cursor and then like to start building from there but i think you can just like keep using tempo labs because if in future if you have to like change anything just change in your requirements and then update your user flow diagram update your design so just like once you change your requirements everything is connected everything is like seamlessly connected so once you change your requirements from there it will just like update your user flow diagram it will update your design and then it will update your code base so like i mean this is really really i mean out of the box kind of thing that i have seen for a while now because most of these ai code editors out there are actually very similar most of these actually have like a prompt where you give it a prompt then it actually generates a code base then it actually gives you a preview but this is actually comparatively different it actually 
gives you more control it covers almost all of the aspects of software the we can say the the standards of developing software so because we do need all of those diagrams all of those use cases all of those user flow diagrams to like create something complex especially these these are really important when you're actually when you're building something complex when you're building some like really complex software so these diagrams actually help you to like understand and give a overview of what exactly you're building so i really really recommend you like just give it a try and if you have not subscribed to this youtube channel please do and if you have not liked this video please just click on that like button and i see you next video bye bye